Hey, hey guys, hope you're all doing well, hope you're all having a great week. Um, just got the latest wave of Star Wars 6 inch black series figures in. Uh, these are from Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, these are apparently not meant to have a street date until April 20th, but it is uh, February 28th now, so I've got, got them almost two months early, so I'm pretty excited. Um, a local seller here from, well, interstate here in Australia got them in early somehow and I was lucky enough to snag them. So I, uh, the only ones I skipped are Skip 60 and 61, which are repacks of the Jawa and the Death Squad Commander from the 40th anniversary line that we got last year. So um, I wanted to just do a quick run through of each of these really quickly. Um, I'll have individual out of box reviews coming in the next couple of days. I'm um, going to record them tomorrow night. I just want to do a little quick video tonight while I've got some time, but tomorrow tomorrow night I'll sit down and record reviews on each of these individually. So we'll start with number 62, Han Solo. And I apologise for the lighting, it's not great, so we'll get a better look at these as I do them individually in the next few days. I'll, I'll record them all tomorrow, I'll upload them in the next couple of days hopefully. So, by the weekend, these will all be online. So he just comes with his DL44, he looks pretty good. I like the artwork. So on the back. Han Solo reinvents himself after leaving behind his old life. Now Solo is growing increasingly comfortable traveling with lawbenders and scoundrels. So it doesn't give too much away, but a little taste of what we're expecting. Now, Grand Moff Tarkin, this figure looks great, I can't wait to open it. Um, comes with the Dr. Ball MD, if you remember the Robot Chicken sketch, which is great. Um, this figure looks fantastic. This has got the uh, face print tech, which I didn't even think it looked bad until before they did that with the ones they've sort of shown at um, Toy Fairs and Comic Con and stuff like that. Back, Grand Moff Tarkin, an ambitious, ruthless proponent of military power. Moff Tarkin became a favourite of Emperor Palpatine and rose rapidly through the Imperial ranks. It's an absolutely worthy addition to the Black Series line. Number 64, the Range Trooper. And this, is a, this looks imposing, this guy. Can't wait to open him out and have a look, closer look. So he's number 64. I think we've all had a pretty good look at this guy through his reveals at Toy Fair and it was Toy Fair within the last couple of weeks. Range Trooper, the Imperial expansion requires the settlement of vital operations on remote outpost worlds. These frontier stormtroopers from a form a backbone of stubborn defense against would-be thieves and pirates. So he looks cool. Wouldn't mind getting a second one of him. Now number 65, Lando Calrissian, childish Gambino and Donald Glover. He looks fantastic. Um, yeah, definitely looking forward to opening this guy up. It's got a cape. I love that picture. <laughs> so Lando, it's so good. Lando Calrissian, smooth and sophisticated. Captain Lando Calrissian stands ready to retire from the life of a smuggler and instead become a full-time gambler, or sportsman as he calls it. Shuffling from card game to card game across the galaxy. So I'm looking forward to seeing Lando again. It's going to be fantastic. Anyway, guys, that's them. This is the new Solo A Star Wars Story Black Series 6-inch figures from the first wave. Um, I'll be back with uh, individual reviews for these. So stay tuned to my channel and I will have them up in the next couple of days. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you.